I've been shooting deer, stomping through the woods, tracking, dragging this bow everywhere like most of you do. Um, I will shoot my bow before every single evening hunt I do. Um, because you never know what if you bumped your sight, um, anything. I've got I've got paint marker marks on everything, my peep, my sight, my knock, because I want to know if something's moved. However, even with that, you're still um, better off to shoot your bow before you go out. Not only does it get you, um, it keeps you in tune with your equipment because none of us practice during the hunting season like we do during the summer, so we start slowly losing that that oneness with your bow. Um, anyway, quick tip, it's a great idea to shoot your bow before you go on a hunt um, every single time. to go but now I'll feel confident when that deer comes in. Alright guys we're gonna try out the new wicked tree gear saw. Comes in this nice pouch, always handy. Real excited about this spot. We got uh we gotta cut some stuff, cut some branches, get two stands hung and get set up so we can kill something. See 10 feet in front of me because it's fog. Damn morning. <laughs> Can you say button bucks? I think we saw five or six button bucks this morning. Oh well, at least we'll have good luck in about three to four years maybe. We just picked up Tom Drake. This is a really big honor to be able to hunt with him this morning. And we are going on some public land and he's got his quiver loaded up. So carry lots of sharp sticks, lots of dead things. Shot of that we'll quiver the down there. <laughs> See? Killing machine right here. <laughs> Ready to rock and roll. It's, it's 55 an degrees. It's really warm outside. So it's an, it's an honor to hunt without Mr. Ellermans, <laughs> the Almighty. <laughs> Rubs and scrapes everywhere. All right, guys, we're hunting with my dad this morning. I'm running the camera. Um, we're in for some excitement today. We saw lots of bucks, and the deer are on their feet. As you can see, we're hunting inside an old cow pasture fence. The deer either go through the fence or over the fence. We've also tied it up in spots by our stands.
Actually, I'm going to crown at him. back on uh, on the stand with my bow this morning um, our plan is basically to go on the other side of the pasture in the woods where we saw all the deer come out of um, yesterday morning so got Josh behind the camera and we're gonna try to see if we can get a look at that uh, that eight pointer we saw yesterday morning he was the biggest one so couldn't really tell if he's a shooter or not. We'll decide this morning. Hopefully we'll see him. I love it when a plan comes together. This is the one buck that we wanted to see this morning. Um, unfortunately, we decided he was still too young and we need to let him grow up. So maybe next year. behind the house tonight. Alright guys, we gotta go get set up. We picked a new spot. It's rock and roll. See you out there. November 1st. November. Is it November 1st? Mm -hmm. The magical month of November. We've got our toe warmers in. It's cold.
right, here's a buck we call Hook. Uh, he's a really old buck, or he just has really horrible genetics. I don't recognize him from any other years. Um, anyway, you can see his rack. He's got some decent main beams, and but his points are extremely minimal other than one point. So um, either way, he's on the hit list as a good management buck this year. All right, guys, like I've told you, I'm a deer hunter at heart. So I'm used to the entire month of October shooting as many does as I can to fill my freezer, to give the farmers deer meat, my cameraman deer meat. It's uh, usually the month of November that I will hold off for a buck. However, I haven't shot as many does as I usually shoot, so it's November 1st and it's around 9 a.m. and look, here comes some back straps walking my way. deer now. Um, just want to let you know that I broke the curse. You you can wear these goofy hats and still kill deer. <laughs> After the last couple hunts I thought maybe I had to quit wearing this hat but looks like we're good to go. And this thick stuff, it took us about an hour to find her. Good blood the whole way. I think I hit her a little far back. We can check it out. All right, guys, we found her. She ran a long way. I hit, uh, I think I hit her in the liver. I knew I hit her back. I was hoping I clipped a lung, but uh, the important thing is we kept after it. We found her. About 10 a.m. We're gonna get her out of here and go get something to eat and get back in the stand quickly. The farmers are harvesting the cornfield over here. That ought to push all the deer even more so over to us. We can only hope. So um, hopefully we can be back be back in the stand within uh, an hour, an hour and a half. That's gonna be pushing it, but uh, we got her done. So this is the. Uh, sixth doe this year 